soufflette is a dish which was created in the 1980s by the Reblochon cheesemakers. Reblochon is a smelly French cheese. Yes, it's pretty smelly, but super yummy. You need about half a kilo of waxy potatoes. So I'm going to julien my potatoes, make them into little matchsticks on my mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you could slice it by hand. You can see it looks a bit like a twig. I find that potatoes sliced on a mandolin make the best shaped nest. Finely chop an onion, whack them in the pan, garlic, smelly work this, smelly onions, smelly cheese, smelly garlic, but it makes for an extra tasty dish. Let's put this in the hob. I'm going to throw in a bay leaf too. While that starts cooking, I'm going to cut up my ladon. While that's sizzling away, I'm going to cut up my stinky reblochon cheese. Look at that. Kind of squashy in the middle. Yum. You'll need 250 grams of reblochon, which comes from the Alps. If you don't like reblochon, you could use a brie, camembert. Okay, that's the cheese done. I'm going to throw in 100 millilitres of dry white wine. And you just want to cook that until there's about a tablespoon of liquid left. My wine's reduced down. And I'm going to add my potatoes. I'm going to pour this into the bowl. And I've got to fish up the bay leaf. Now this is what you should do before you add the potatoes. Ah yes, found you. Okay, throw in the cheese. Oh, look at all that cheese. You only live once, that's what they say. Give it a stir. Grab your tin. The tins are already buttered, so just load up each section. Overfill it, because um, it kind of shrinks a little bit. Might not be the prettiest of dishes, but when it tastes this good, who cares? In the oven they go. And I'm gonna clean up. After about 15 minutes, they'll be cooked. It smells certainly quite cheesy now. Let's have a look. Oh, it's bubbling away. They look amazing. Oh, yummy. Good stuff. All right, I'm gonna scoop one out. Scoop it all out. It's like heaven on a plate. So I've usually got like the Roblochon cheese, which is melted, smoky bacon flavor, bit of crunch from the potato on the top, but then it's all kind of soft and cooked in the middle. Delicious. What these little tartiflettes lack in looks, they make up for in taste. A delicious springtime lunch. <laughs>